guys it's Anil and today I'm going to show you how I created this image in Photoshop uh, it's titled macro photographer and you're seeing this on my page so when you have time and if you're on Facebook do visit my page and let me know what you think um, the link is below in the description moving on, moving on. so these are uh, these are the images I'm gonna be working with this is the mushroom part yes the fly was already there and this is the me part so I'm gonna put me over here so let's drag these files onto Photoshop I'm using Photoshop CS6 and okay so this is camera raw 7.1 and uh, in camera raw what I normally do is I go through I go through all these sliders starting with the white balance uh, that's fine for me and exposure slightly contrast so um if, we, if you're new to camera draw what uh, you should do is you should go through all the sliders and play around with them you know take them to uh, to the extreme right or the extreme left and see what the changes are and you'll get the basic idea of what the, what they mean okay. uh, I like to boost clarity in my images slightly Aberration and again, I think it's a slightly overexposed on the mushroom part. So, highlights down the highlights. Okay, I guess I'm done with this image now. Moving on to this now, I could go through all the settings again and try to match it manually, but I don't have to do that. Just go to the image that you processed and select all and synchronize. And okay. So these images are now synchronized with mostly. Okay, now select all and open images. Now the images will open in full sub. Okay. Oh, done. Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna make a rough selection around me. Uh, we need magnetic lasso tool. So we're starting from over here. Now the selection is done and I can see that some part here is missing so I'm just gonna take a different tool and press shift selection and add it okay, and here it's extra so I'm gonna press alt so just remove the extra selection now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the V tool or the move tool it's over here and click on it and drag to the next document okay there I am so I'm pressing shift and scaling so that uh, when I do that the proportion remains same if I don't can mess up with the figure so yeah pressing shift will help with that mm, I'm gonna position myself yes that's pretty much yeah. okay looks 
that's good to me. Press enter. Now this is a different layer. So let's turn it off for now and work on the background. So I'm gonna duplicate this by pressing Ctrl or Command Z. And uh, let's see what I did. I forgot what I did the first time. Okay. I want to remove this part, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, select the path tool. If you don't see this tool, it's over here. Right click and get rid it. And make a selection out of this. I don't know what that is. Mushroom something. And loading. Loading. Why is it so? Okay. Uh, it's good for now. We'll work on that later. So, you know, just get the pass to land. So, we has content over, so it uh, kind of matches the background and tries to do its best. now I'm gonna go back to the me layer I'm using command plus and minus for zooming in and out and uh, control D for the select and go to the marquee tool and select rectangle marquee and just take this like this much part uh, okay that's I guess good enough and again press B and move it bring it over here so now I'll work. now okay, I'm gonna create a kind of a rocky surface over here enter um, I want to erase out some part of the rocks so that it can blend in but for that uh, I could use the eraser tool and just rub it out all but that way I won't be able to bring back what I erased. So I'm gonna use a layer mask. So this here, button, okay. This is layer mask. So what it basically does is box like eraser, but it's uh, non-destructive, meaning you can bring back what you erased. What you, uh, mostly it's uh, basically just hiding the part of the image. But for that, you need to use the brush tool. And the shortcut is B, or you can just go here and click on brush tool. Okay, and uh, so it works on two colors, most basically, black and white. What black does is, if you paint over it, it will hide the part. So if you want to bring it back, just press X or select white from here, and it's back. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna take a soft flowers brush, reduce the hardness, and I mean, brush in. So I'm doing this roughly just to give you the idea of what I did. Play around all you want with your own miniature self portraits of your, of your friend. So, uh, okay, that's good enough for now. So, I'm going in me. V to move around. So, uh, okay. Zooming in. I want to do some masking on this layer as well. So, I'll just select the mask. B to bring out the brush and again the same way just blending in slightly so you know take as much time as you need so that it close to perfect <coughs> okay. that doesn't look very good anyways I'm gonna duplicate 
click this layer and by pressing the V And again, the, the mask is already there. So just press B. And paint over the areas. Okay, not bad. Now, uh, now that the placing and everything is done, let's move on to color correction and stuff. So I'm going to create a stamp of all the layers. I mean, uh, so what it basically does is it creates, uh, it merges all the layers, but keeping all the layers the same. Okay, that was confusing. Anyways, what I mean is, press Control, Alt, Shift, and E at the same time, and there, it's magic, the new layer. Now you can turn all that off, and you still have what you had on your desktop on your screen. Sorry. Um, so now I'll be working on this layer. I'm keeping the la uh, layers below, just in case I screw up and I need to go back and fix things. Now duplicate the layer by Control Z, and uh, I want this part here to be kind of blurred. So I'm gonna go to filter, blur, and let's just go with Gaussian blur for now. That's fine. That much is fine, I guess. Press OK. Now again, uh, apply the mask, but this time I'm gonna click on the mask uh, icon by pressing Alt on the keyboard. So Alt and press. Now what you do, you see that the mask is all black already. So it hides the whole layer. Now I'm gonna go to brush, okay, it's already there, and select the white color, and uh, brush in, okay, opacity. Okay. Brush in the part which I want to be blurred. Like I said, take as much time as you need in the details, because that's what sells it. I mean, I'm really lazy and mostly just do the surface things and share the images and people will notice and comment and everything, but you know, it's all up to you. Okay, even I'm a little too sharp considering the mushroom. Okay. Good. Okay, now the next step is um, again gonna create a stamp, Alt Control Shift E and go to color correction part. Now what I like to do is use this awesome filter by Nick, I think it's by Google now, Nick software called Color Effects Pro for color correction, but uh, you can do all that just by going to levels and stuff from Photoshop. Okay, now uh, we are, this is Color Effects Pro 4, and this, it has a bunch of really cool preset filters. Um, so I'm gonna go to cross balance and change the white balance like what I want. This is fine. Reduce the strength. Now you can even add filters so that you can get like you know custom effect. Maybe a little cross processing as well.
looks fine. Raise the strength a little. Okay. And again, add filter. Um, I'm gonna go down to proc contrast and increase the dynamic contrast a little, maybe slightly. Okay, I like that. Now, mm, what I'm gonna do? This uh, darken, lighten center. Okay, this is kind of like uh, vignetting, but you see, it's really better than that. So I'll place my center say around here okay now wait it's too high okay somewhere around there now just to pull the luminosity okay I guess that's fine no I could play around and add a bunch of other filters and you know do what I want but I'm just giving you a basic idea so that you can create such images with you know matching colors and stuff so I'm gonna press ok and it will create a new layer so that it's you know I can mask it out or reduce the opacity if I want and stuff okay there it is now wait I want to crop this out a little okay so there you have it so guys uh, that's it for now i hope you like it and enjoy it uh, let me know what you think i still need to work on my tutorial skills i know that i promise to be you know keep practicing and all but uh do subscribe i'll share what i know uh, in coming videos and visit my page let me know what you think and <clears throat> you know post me drop me a message comments feedbacks everything is just welcome thank you and happy shooting bye bye